here. It's steamy as anything in here. So steamy that I had to reshoot the video. Inside the greenhouse that I built for one dollar. Here I am in a one dollar greenhouse. It took me one dollar to build this greenhouse. Let me explain. It's made out of bamboo, which I locally harvested. I chose bamboo because it's strong and flexible. It's like steel. In fact, they've built uh, airplanes out of bamboo and skyscrapers. You can look it up. If you watch Gilligan's Island, the whole village was built out of bamboo. And this thing's not going anywhere. It's rock solid. I was doing pull-ups on this before I laid over the top, the tarp. But I'm not doing that anymore. My uh, wife told me maybe it's not the best idea. But the point is, this is a $1 greenhouse built with bamboo, which arguably is a renewable resource, and it's serving the function, serving the purpose. Why did I build it for $1? I'm going to tell you how to build it, what I did, and why I built it. One of the reasons I built this is I was looking for a greenhouse, and a lot of people just don't have the money to write a check for a few thousand dollars to build a greenhouse. There was somebody online, he's a pretty famous YouTuber, who built a quote-unquote cheap greenhouse for $20,000. For me, that's ridiculous. Maybe it's not ridiculous, but it's not practical for most people. I wanted to build a structure that most people can build. This only took me a few hours. I'm writing a PhD. I don't have the time to be, uh, you know, mechanical construction engineer, uh, civil engineer. I just wanted to build something with no expertise, call it a day, and it works, and it's going to last. I know it's going to last because I've tested the construction, and I've built similar type of things before. I built a chicken coop and a chicken tractor and smaller constructions. One of the advantages of doing things yourself is you can virtually do anything. I always say if you know I was homeless or if I uh, knew somebody needed... You could basically build a house, a tiny home for yourself with very little money. Maybe not out of bamboo, but with local resources you harvest yourself and construct it. How do I know you can do that? Because for 10,000 years of civilization, humans did that themselves. They took care of themselves. They built things themselves. Okay, so the way I built this for $1 is I initially used twine. I saw some YouTubers using twine. They'll recommend it. It's not sturdy enough. Twine will biodegrade. Then I tried zip ties. Zip ties are pretty good. But uh, again, I didn't feel that it had the solid sturdiness of what I'm using is duct tape. Duct tape, duct tape seems to last anything else. It's flexible and strong and adhesive. One of the reasons I chose duct tape is it was so cheap I bought it for a dollar bought it at the do dollar store and you can say okay well you know it's a dollar 25 there now I bought it before the inflation and I initially put the whole frame up for a dollar then my wife uh, full disclosure came through as quality control and uh, put more duct tape on it but even if you shoot the moon and spend five dollars or eight dollars on duct tape 800 percent increase you're still only out eight hundred dollars eight dollars not two thousand twenty thousand dollars and one of the advantages of small is beautiful as an economics book you can look up is you can scale this up anytime you want to scale this greenhouse up and make it ten times the size you can do that and then you're out ten dollars or a hundred dollars what about this tarp okay there's a guy in Connecticut who found glass over a year and that was free recycled glass and created a greenhouse but I don't have a year I'm doing a PhD I thought about creating recycled plastic panels and then layering it on top that's free but I just said ah I, I don't have any time I want to do this in a few hours I went click click this cost uh, about a hundred dollars it's got UV protection it will last four years and it's gonna last in Florida at least for four years and in the summer, uh, it will last several months. I use it from October to, let's say, April, and then I'll put maybe shade cloth over it. So you can you can do alternatives and keep it at a dollar, but I chose to just click click, and it's actually too big. Uh, I pasted it out, and you know I did the uh, trigonometry of it, but I bought it a little bit bigger, thinking I'm gonna maybe expand it. But at this time, I don't have the time, so I'm not gonna expand it. 
and you can get it probably for fifty dollars some quality greenhouse uh, plastic and the way I constructed is just simply wrapping as you can see the joints in duct tape over and over and it again I use I hate to overuse the term but it's rock solid it's not going anywhere you can climb on it it's a jungle gym now you can make a biodome and biodomes are really cool and they're great to withstand wind I wouldn't say this is hurricane 5 category certified but if hurricane comes we'll see what happens I could probably take the plastic down and and I'm sure it would withstand it because all the structures I've built here myself has has withstood all the hurricanes and we've got hit with a few I have zero building experience when my wife met me I was basically a poet on the on a park bench but you know everybody has the ability to construct something like this I've got 65 tubs in here and and these are these were in my junkyard of gardening supplies I got them from IKEA, IKEA depending if you're from Europe or America how you say it so these were just rotting in the side so I, I utilized the resources that I had but you could actually poke holes in tarps or just plant things right in the ground 65 uh, tubs full of organic soil and I have two tomato plants per tub each tomato plant can yield between 10 and 30 pounds of tomatoes per season and then you can keep on uh, redoing it these are indeterminate tomatoes so let's say I have uh, 2,000 pounds of tomatoes I can give the excess to a homeless shelter or a food bank I can can and jar them I can use them myself in the old days people used to uh, have something called a mortgage lifter they'd sell tomatoes roadside in the state of Florida it's legal to do that you could just sell it roadside you don't need a license uh, don't quote me on all this but that could be a mortgage lifter what if you made ten twenty thousand dollars additionally every year pay down your just to pay down your mortgage then you're good there's even a tomato called the mortgage lifter you can grow whatever you want you know you can grow with this inflation and there is a lot of inflation I study economics it's particularly food and energy inflation it's not bad to do this this is zone 9a in North Florida and I'm gonna get six seven months out of just the greenhouse if you're in North Carolina South Carolina or Pennsylvania or somewhere Texas California you could use it all year almost you grow tropicals I know a guy in Poland he's uh, zone, growing zone 6a where he is he only grows tropicals that's like banana trees and uh, palm trees and things of that nature so uh, having a greenhouse is very versatile and it's a lot of fun if I'm no expert if I am in the stacks reading books on economics interest and prices Knut Vixell Mises Hayek Keynes all these economists Ricardo Mill John Stuart Mill of the 18th 17th 19th 20th century and I just got here for a few hours and I bought a saw for five dollars uh, I had it anyway so I don't count it as included in the and build a structure like this that's gonna last me many years you can too now I didn't particularly over treat this I just cured it in the Sun a little bit this bamboo some of it's still growing and <laughs> might even get, get some bamboo trees out of it which I'll have to mitigate later but there are natural processes to mitigate bamboo some people take it and, and uh, treat it in a fluid the re uh, I didn't do it no time you can use wood and again I don't use pressure treated wood but rather it's cheaper just to buy wood you can buy it at the big box store 90% discount their scrap wood and put something together you can use vegetable oil and maybe some orange or citrus oil uh, and treat it with that I've done that and in Florida steamy hot Florida I'm on year five and it hasn't eroded it's like cedar buying cedar so for pennies you can buy wood or lumber just use your imagination PVC I've tried to use PVC I've got a PVC junkyard of things I don't like it I don't like plastic uh, PVC will destroy and degrade your greenhouse a lot of youtubers have greenhouses that they're showing and it's made out of PVC but you have to mitigate that because the chlorine in the PVC will actually it's a chemical process uh, it will degrade the plastic I'm getting a PhD I know what I'm talking about you can also buy greenhouses a lot of farms in the area you drive by them and they have these abandoned greenhouses but that's a whole disassemble and assemble thing transport 
isn't it better just to use some local resources tape it together like crazy and this is rock solid again and then just start growing so that's my one dollar greenhouse if i can do it you can do it you can choose any design you want initially I had a tp design and then i was thinking about a biodome design i go to this uh there's this uh, polish group of people that i meet sometimes we we meet and they built something like a biodome out of wood that they found and they kind of taped it together etc you can use anything you want and if you're not doing it you don't doubt if you doubt that you can do it for this little at least let's say ten dollars for the frame shoot the moon put a comment in below why would you go and buy something manufactured in who knows where under who knows what quality standards that costs a lot of money I know people they look like closet that have bought this they look like closets and they fall apart within one year this is plug-and-play and replaceable parts no stress I don't like it I can remove the tape I can cut the tape throw it in the woods it all composts there's no trace so you know the only thing I did use was the plastic for the covering but again you can you can take the time if you have the time there's a lot of free exchanges online and find glass use other things and you know maybe you want to uh, create a shade house instead and you can use natural organic fibers for that you could alternatively you know triangulate this off your the south side of your house and do it even more conservatively where you benefit from the geothermal uh, heat from your house and and the uh, heat coming off of this emanating and it will be even cheaper I don't, I, I don't want to print a price because I'm, I'm making a claim a dollar but it's really after my wife came through maybe a little bit more use your God-given creativity and innovation to take care of yourself your family this is amazing I can't believe I do stuff like this for so little money that's rock solid and I have nothing to do with construction or engineering I'm just simply getting a PhD in economics on the natural rate of interest thank you very much if you have questions or comments don't forget to subscribe let me know about my one dollar bamboo greenhouse my bamboo greenhouse that rocks it there's a lot of people that sh say you know on primitive technology channels that they're building something my eyes glaze over because those are professional productions multiple people you don't see behind the scenes of of cameras and construction people no I'm just you know your average bloke that went outside and did something I had the vision and I created it one dollar greenhouse. Thank you very much.